Hey guys, quite a few of you have been asking me to make Hatchimals. I chose to make a barricade because that's the first Hatchimal I ever saw. Really hope you'll enjoy. I first took some black clay and made a chubby bowling pin shape. I then used my X-Acto knife to define the shape. If you have any questions about the tools or materials I use, I do have a video about it on my new channel, which you can find the link to in the info box. Next, I made and added the beak. For the eyes, I took some green clay and then added some pearl X pigment. Since the eyes do light up, you can really make them any color you want. And although they are barely visible, you also want to add the feet. Then pre-bake, you can then make the wings and after pre-baking these I added a ball of clay with some sewing thread to the back. This is just a super simple way to making them so that they are able to flap. But you can also use some of the techniques I've shown in previous videos. After baking, you can glue them in place, and then I used acrylic paint for the final details. For the belly portion, I didn't add the paint because it's going to be visible on the final result, but because it's going to act like a guideline when you add the fur. For the fur, I'm going to be using my merino fibers, but if you don't have these, you can also use yarn. You then just want to glue this in place, let the glue dry, and then trim it.
I also added some acrylic paint to the belly to make it match the exact paint I used for the rest. For the ears, I just made them using some fabric which is kind of fluffy on one side and then I added acrylic paint to the other side. For the tail, I again just painted some fabric using pink and black acrylic paint. To make the egg, you want to take a ball of clay and make sure to take one that's big enough to actually fit the Hatchimal on the inside, roll out an egg shape, then flatten the bottom slightly so it's able to stand up, and bake. After baking, I cut it in half, then made a mold, and then used white clay to make both halves. After pre-baking, I used my X-Acto knife to make the cracked edge. Add some liquid clay and then the other halves on top. And after baking this, you can use extra liquid clay or just normal pommel clay to hide the seams if needed. Paint it using acrylic paint and seal with glaze. Seal the rest of the parts of your Hatchimal with place, and you're done.